to Milburn, who drives it around the outer side. Ling up in front. Judd, will he crumb the contest that he was in? Hard to do. Hand passes across to Carrazzo. Carrazzo inside the forward 50. Well, where's Pev? At the moment, they don't seem to be looking for him. Harley over the top. This is Adler. Maybe he's not on the move. Here's a chance for Milburn. That is very short, not 15. Ling feeds it back. Joel Corey just getting so much of the football. Goes to Stokes inside the centre square. Hawkins should fly. Almost the mark. Crawls after it. Good effort. Clever back heel by Russell. The hand pass comes out of there. It was going to be a free kick back to Wiggins. Advantage is paid. Around the other side, Carrazzo onto the chest of Betts. You're right, Dennis. Russell did really well. There was a just a little touch with the back heel, but it worked. Fev couldn't get hold of it. There was a poor kick coming in. And then Abler back to Corey. Fev hasn't had a touch this quarter. And Lonigan's actually done very well in the one in the three or four one-on-ones they've had. So Mackey from Gillies. And then Mackey, that's a magnificent oh. kick. And running hard in right. Cruising, just put a little good bit of pressure kick. on him, but a good kick inside. And Varco marks within range. And that's the second kick of Enright into the Geelong Ford 50 under pretty fierce pressure. One on the right foot, outside in, and this kick here was brilliant. And this one here, Enright knew exactly what was going on, had to bring it back in front of Varco. It was a difficult kick to execute, but he did it very well. And it's a bit of claret. As we see the, uh, the blood cross. Not the first time for that man. The Red Cross. So Wiggins now. Varco. 45 metres out. He debuted against Carlton round two, 2007. Thanks, Travis. The same day that Tom Hawkins made his debut. And they both were amongst the goals. Five between them, Varco getting a couple. A good looking kick, not making it though, and Cruiser. Well done, that's some good luck work by Cruiser and good defensive play by the big guy. But the Blues just yeah. kick straight back out to Harley. Is that 50? Silly. Tom, please. Ball back to Tom, please. Yep. That's a poor bit of play, isn't it? Just the kicking the ball in his direction was a bit of a panicky kick out of the back 50, but uh, the contact after the mark is really, really only giving a very easy shot contact, goal. But the ball, You've knocked the ball free well after the mark's been taken. Time back on. Aaron, go back two metres, please. Aaron, go back two metres. He'll go with you. You go back two metres. Aaron, another metre. Well, Tom Harley doesn't have a lot of shots for goal. He kicked a goal in the prelim final last year. Just 11 in his 192 games coming in. So the captain, straight in front, scores a level. Don't see many more excited players after they've kicked the goal than a defender. And they don't get that many chances at it. But Simpson, that, that was very poor play. I mean, he wanted to come up and put pressure on, but the mark had already been taken. The contest was was over, and there was only going to be one outcome, and that was giving the 50 metre away. It was an important shot at goal there by Harley to keep the Cats in touch. Well, Chris Judd's just returned to the ground after his second break, second spell on the interchange bench this quarter. Just took the one spell in the first quarter. Cameron Ling came off with him and he really dragged himself around the boundary line, just sucking the deep breaths in, just trying to get some wind back in his lungs. He's run extremely hard chasing Chris Judd in the second quarter. Gibbs out of the middle, Harley goes back the goal kicker, doing it at both ends to Milburn, confronted, got a problem. Harley helps him out. Gillies under pressure, Fev the only man on the ground not to have had a touch. Well he got a touch but it doesn't go down as a stat right there. Brendan Fabola, who looked very good. Two posters and a goal in the opening term. The man who kissed his rival, Don't Scott hold. Thompson, last Friday night. A very forward, forward. Tossed in. Cruiser kicks and gets the goal.
It's the kind of glimpses that uh, you think that Cruz is going to be doing a lot more. I mean, as a second year uh, tall, it's very, very tough. But just that ability to have the, just the agility, really, uh, for his uh, size to take that uh, half chance. They're the kind of glimpses you see. And that's all you really see from the teenage tours. But he's got a lot to offer when he becomes a mature 21, 22, 23-year-old and forward. So Cruiser gets the goal. Hampson was actually doing the ruck work, yeah. and they're playing them on the ground at the same time for a lot of this match. Hampson at the moment in the goal square for Carlton. I think they've decided that bets Harley that matchup. It just wasn't really making Harley a cannibal, so they've put the extra tall deep in the goal square behind for Vola. Pull that back. So it'll be a throw up. Carlton getting the lead back, so similar to the opening term, isn't it? With Geelong making the early running, and then Carlton getting the lead back late-ish. Mumford looking back, cut off by Robinson, he threw it. Well, no free that time, and then Corey's been so good. Ablett, well done. Got through some tight traffic. Hogan, that's a good mark, and he takes Thornton on and then gives away the ball. Well, well done by Thornton to keep going. Now Gibbs. Little give Carazzo. Murphy put down. White to Hadley. So the Blues with a real chance to lead here at half time. Hadley's kick inside 50. Cruz at the target. Well, he had a fair bit of it. Ball slapped out. Gibbs his handball. Simpson, Murphy. Gibbs down low. They're working back. Joseph. Scotland. They haven't quite got the right bloke yet. Then Scotland wheels around, kicks it out wide. Good kick to Hulahan. Yep. Well played, Hulahan. Didn't panic and just let the contact come to him. But that was really good first give hands by Carton around the top of the 50. As you said, Bruce, they couldn't find the right person. They couldn't get out from uh, Geelong's pressure. But eventually they did. And that was a good spotter. Good pressure there by Thornton to, uh, to affect that turnover on Hogan as well. And Geelong's only trailed at half-time on three occasions this year. Yep. Now, if Houlihan kicks this, you'd reckon they're going to be trailing at half-time tonight. He hasn't it's kicked a goal for a while, Houlihan. In fact, in his last seven games. And he's kicked that beautifully. He's kicked it through, and the Blues edge away. Yes, it certainly hasn't been tonight. The uh, the team on the uh, bottom of the bottom bit of the eighth, seventh position going tonight to Carlton, and of course only losing tonight uh, twice this year, Geelong. But that's not the two teams playing tonight. Carlton are right in this game. There's no doubt about it. Geelong are sort of trying their uh, trying their hardest, but they've just got no real flair and flow in their game. And Carlton have now got a really nice lead. What a beautiful kick it was. There's Harry Taylor. Without those pillows we talked of earlier in the season. The way he sleeps with four pillows. We won't go to it now. Approaching half time. 12 points the difference. His side on the wrong end of that scoreline. Stevens goes inside the forward 50. Favola lurking behind. Knocked away by Gillies. Roving the pack is Betts. Betts a little up under towards the pocket. Knocked away by Lonigan. Good defence by Lonigan. He really has grown in stature in this second term. We spoke just moments ago about Feb's fervour last week in that game against North. O'Halpin, Mackey towards the boundary line. Lonigan once more got up in the right direction. Ablett takes it across. Starting to look as if perhaps Tom Lonigan doused himself with Oyster Bis Cologne at quarter time. He's come back real strong. That is strong stuff. There's Robinson, got it from Judd, smothered off the boot. Mackey in the opposite direction. Loops a hand pass over the top. Bartell, league now to Nace. Runs out of the defensive 50 and drives it beyond the wing. Hawkins is up. We're down to a minute 15 remaining. Still plenty of time. A score either way. Bartell, forward of the wing towards the pocket. Too long, though, for the man drifting back, Johnson. And Russell's done a very good job on Johnson. Short to Walker. And then to Carazzo. So Carlton now building. Slow kick wide. Hadley takes the mark in front Andrew, of Mackey. Andrew, two metres! Andrew, two metres! Back to Gibbs. And then 